Time now for the Geico 15. Geico 15 minutes could save you 15% or more on car insurance. Visit Geico.com to see how much you could save. Welcome in two-time Super Bowl champ and co-host of All Things Covered, Bryant McFadden, to break down some preseason action on Thursday. Starting Foxborough rookie Mac Jones made his preseason debut. Much like his time at Alabama, he was efficient. BMAC, what would you see for the first-round pick? A uh, player who looked extremely comfortable. I mean, he he really he orchestrated the offense the right way. Uh, he was able to go through his progressions. He took what the defense gave him, and they left some plays out on the football field. Not particular, uh, particularly Mac Jones, but some of his wide receivers. I mean, he he put dropped the ball exactly where he needed to drop it. They just didn't come down with the catch. But in all, a real efficient night for his first preseason ball game. Only six incompletions, uh, around 87 yards. Uh, I was very very pleased from what I saw from Mac Jones. All right, speaking of first round picks, Chase Young, who was drafted second overall in 2020, picking up where he left off the defensive rookie of the year, drilled Cam Newton in the first quarter. What was your reaction to that hit and how much of a problem is Young and this Washington defense going to be this season? Not surprised. And if you look at the first third down opportunity, they, they came out in an exotic disguise package defensively, the Washington Football Club, that is. And they were able to finesse some certain things on the front. And Chase Young just beat his blocker one-on-one, one-on-one -on -one opportunities. Remember I talked about this pre-game, uh, pre uh, during the pre-game show. If you give Chase Young a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, he's going to win more than he's going to lose. And he was able to showcase, uh, showcase that during that snap. And this is something that we should get used to seeing throughout the course of this upcoming season because they have so many dyna dy dynamic playmakers on the front, it's going to be very, very difficult for any offensive alignment or offensive line unit to stop them. Man, he might go from defensive rookie of the year to v defensive player of the year, BMAC, Chase Young. I mean, that's, no question. that's not out of the question, right? No, I, I, it definitely could happen. I mean, he's a double-digit sack type guy. The, the question is, what number will he get? Will it be in the teens? Will it be 11? Will it be 12? I mean, he's a guy that definitely can win his one-on-one -on -one blocks. All right, we'll see how he does in that defense. Washington ranks second in total defense behind only the Rams last season. Washington won the NFC East last season with seven wins, while Philadelphia finished last. Jalen Hurts has yet to be named the starter. The Eagles preseason opener against the Steelers led the Eagles to a field goal on his first drive. Second drive resulted in a punt. Just three of seven for 54 yards, BMAC. What's the takeaway for Jalen Hurts in this game? I really didn't do a lot. I'm not surprised. Remember I said during the pregame show, just get in, get a few snaps, complete a few passes, get on the sideline, hold a clipboard, put a visor on. He was able to do so. That was a nice pass right there on that out route, deep out route by Zach Ertz. Uh, I mean, um, I'm sorry, Dallas Got Goddard. But he was doing some pretty good things. He had some some drops as well, as you see there from his wide receivers. But a uh, smooth uh, first preseason ball game from Jalen Hurts. Like I said, I did not expect to see him play a lot. I didn't wanna, want him to play a lot. Uh, he got in. Got a few snaps, got on the sideline. It's his job, right? It, there's no question about it. It better be. Okay. It better be. Right. It better be. Yeah, because Joe Flacco be. didn't look, he looked pretty good. He looked, he looked, he looked decent there he, in a backup he, role. He did, but, but it's Jalen Hurts' job. Right. Healthy, it's, it should be his, it should be his job. Well, in Pittsburgh, they've had the same starter for years. Ben Roethlisberger entering his 18th NFL season. But who's going to be his backup? And that's significant because if he gets injured, they need a guy they can count on. Mason Rudolph started the second straight preseason game for Pittsburgh, yet former first-round pick Dwayne Haskins solid. 16-22 um, for 161 yards and a touchdown. BMAC, do you think Haskins is going to end up winning the backup role? Whoa. It's getting real sticky right now. It's getting real sticky. Now, get this now. Mason Rudolph didn't play bad. Uh, Dwayne Haskins just played better. You know what I mean? He had a wide open touchdown. He was able to hit the pass, uh, the pass catcher in the end zone. He made some nice throws in between the 20s. Uh, he's, he's looking more comfortable. He looked more comfortable tonight than he did last week. I'm not surprised. You know what I mean? When you get more reps, you start feeling the vibe, feeling the chemistry. And next preseason ball game for, for them, the Pittsburgh Steelers, that is, Rudolph and Dwayne Haskins. It's going to be a very, very important ball game. Remember, they have an extra game. So they're not just playing three preseason games, Hakeem. They're playing four. So actually, this was their, granted, their second game in the first full week of the preseason slate. So this is a very, very important week coming up for Mason Rudolph and Dwayne Haskins because we don't know exactly if uh, uh, Big Ben will play. If not, will they go with Mason Rudolph to start again? Or will they hand the keys over to Dwayne Haskins to make a start if Big Ben uh, doesn't participate next week? Hey, I, I know the Geico 15-second statement is coming up in just a moment here, but I'm going to go ahead and give you mine now. Dwayne Haskins will be the starter for Pittsburgh by the end of the season. 
Ooh. Body. Ooh. Body. So is, are you saying an injury is going to happen? Uh, you wishing that's, bad that's, luck on the Steelers? Uh, I mean, that's what I'm saying. Wow. Such a Browns fan. Clip it uh, off. Clip it off and put it on your feed. Let's go. Let's no go. integrity. I, I mean, look, where Dwayne Hass is going to, to, to college. I'm just saying, why would you wish that? I'm not wishing Steelers, anything. I'm just, I, look, you, I'm, w- look, we're in the business of making bold predictions. I'm just saying, I'm not wishing any harm on Big Ben. Big Ben's in Ohio. Well, guy. I'm just saying, dude, I just think Dwayne Haskins going to take it over. You're forgetting he's an Ohio guy. I mean, that's, I mean, he's been this playing fair. for Pittsburgh for a long time. All right, let's get your biggest winner <laughs> and loser from Thursday's preseason action. Start with your winner. Um, my biggest winner tonight, the New England Patriots and Mac Jones. I mean, it's, it's looking like small sample size, but Mac Jones looked pretty good. And I really love uh, the second half uh, adjustments they made coming out of halftime, allowing him to get involved in a two-minute offense. And he looked really, 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 really comfortable in the no-huddle uh, style of uh, uh, attack. And he was able to go through his progressions. He looked real smooth. So I think right now that was my biggest winner tonight. The Patriots and Mac Jones, they got it right. All right, how about your biggest loser then? Well, let's keep it with the Patriots. All right, when it comes to the team's game, kicking is very, very important. And tonight, field goal-wise, we saw a young fella in in Quinn Norton step in and play big-time football with his leg, with his feet. And he filled in for Nick Folk. So my biggest loser, I'm sorry, the veteran kicker, Nick Folk, he might be scratching for his job right now. He's not healthy, and the young fella came in to deliver some real nice kicks. He did miss an extra point, but he kicked a 40-plus yarder and a 50-yarder. That's big-time fantasy points for the fantasy owners out there. So he could be a fantasy get late, late in fantasy drafts if he's able to uh, win this job over Nick Folk. So Nick Folk not participating tonight. He's my biggest loser. Yeah, he's uh, quite the underdog story. Uh, looking for jobs on LinkedIn. Undrafted. How about Clint Norton? Three for three, a 50-yard field goal. Good for him. Have a day, kid. All right, time now for the Geico 15-second statement as we look ahead to Friday's schedule. Titans take on the Falcons. Bills visit the Lions. The Cowboys clash with the Cardinals. What's your Geico 15-second statement? Looking for Kyle Pitts. Looking for Kyle Pitts. Remember, highly drafted player by the uh, Atlanta Falcons. Tight end, a guy who can be can play like a wide receiver on the perimeter. Will he show up? I don't expect to see a lot of Kyle Pitts, but I can tell you this much. They better try to find a way to feature him in the plays that he's involved in because he has to be a big-time contributor for their offense this season. Not to mention the guy he basically ran out of town is playing for the opposite team in the Tennessee Titans, and that's Julio Jones. Kyle Pitts, one half of the Super Swamp Brothers. You remember him. He was a beast at <laughs> the Super Swamp. Now notice. looking to be a beast for the Atlanta Falcons and Matt Ryan. Just look his way and throw it to the big fella. Uh, BMAC, appreciate it. Great stuff breaking down the preseason action here on Thursday. And hey, for more awesome content from BMAC, check out his podcast, All Things Covered. He's joined by Vikings corner Patrick Peterson every Tuesday. The eight-time Pro Bowler Peterson and two-time Super Bowl champion McFadden discuss what's happening on the gridiron as well as what intrigues them off the field. Ice Cube is going to be their latest guest. Can't wait for that. All things covered, download and follow today. Do you want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis, no yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.